you can shift and, you know, thereby accomplish whatever it is you were, you know, you were looking to accomplish. In a sense, you would be immortal. And imagine not only being able to jump into past selves, present selves, but also various types of alternate future selves. Um, imagine being able to jump into, you know, a, I guess, again, you could say a diagonal timeline, your own personal timeline, crossing multiple other timelines personally. A timeline where you're 70 years old. Well, some people might say, who the hell wants to do that? Well, maybe it's a timeline where Earth took a different um, direction of evolution, a more advanced direction of evolution. So, you're 70 years old, but you look like you're 20, and the average human lifespan is 1,000. So, you know, not exactly in adult diaper years at that point now, are you? Or imagine being able to take it further to jump into a reality where you're you're well beyond the the fifth dimension so not only is um the human race on an evolutionary path at that point to um you know immortality to where you're immortal but you're also infallible because you're you're so much higher up on the um on the vibrational frequency there and um you know it's it's really um, quite a cool prospect. Now, imagine that um, you just want to, you know, no, no fatality. You just want to remember something that happened in your past. Well, let's move it beyond memory. Um, let's say you want to relive it. Well, I think there would be a bunch of different modes. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, there's a tired mode, apparently. Um, I think there'd be a bunch of different modes for this. Um, one, I guess you could call more of an observer mode. Um, to where your consciousness goes back within the same timeline, you're not changing anything, and your past self is in full control, but you are so much, you know, in your knowing that, um... You don't feel like your past self is in full control because you're matching your past self's movements so identically. You're not changing anything. So you can quite literally, you know, relive the whatever experience it was that, that you had instead of it just being a, a fleeting memory that you're, you're struggling to access and you struggle more and more as you get older. It's something you could relive at any time with full sensory perception without your past self knowing your future self was there <laughs> and without any other future selves knowing your previous future selves were there um you know in case you want to relive that moment more than once so on and so forth now the next aspect is what i like to call the um the the fourth dimensional full panoramic uh quantum view here <laughs> basically imagine that um you know, you're sitting on your bed or in a chair on your couch or whatever, and um, you can still feel yourself sitting there, but the view out your eyes and what you're hearing in your ears changes because you're going back to that moment in time. Not to relive that experience, but to observe that experience like you're watching a movie only with the full 4D quantum panoramic view you can observe it from any angle you can observe it as a person who was watching you you can observe it from you know in front of you behind you to the left of you to the to the right of you below you above you you've got this full 360 degree um, quantum view on the whole thing. And, of course, one question that, um, you know, most people, you know, would ask again is, um, another paradigm question here, another, you know, irrelevant question, is that, um, okay, well, how would you keep all these timelines straight? I mean, if you were always shifting back and forth and all over the place, then, how would you be able to tell the difference between something that 
you know, has happened in this timeline versus something that happened in another, so that when you go up and talk to your buddy about, hey, remember the time when we did this, your buddy's not looking at you like, you know, you're on crack going, um, dude, we never did that. What the hell are you talking about? Well, it's the same way that, um, you know the difference between an idea, a really strong, vivid, lucid idea for something you really want to do in the future, but you haven't done it yet. Or how you know the difference between a dream you had, an actual reality, or how you know the difference between a past memory and, you know, the present and the here and now. Or, um, what's another good example? Um... You know, there's just lots of different examples like that. So I guess, um, oh yeah, another good one. Um, how can, how does it, when you see, you know, that instead of just a big blinding blur of light, you can recognize multiple different simultaneous things around you at once and, and zoom in and zoom out and focus and be able to discern all this without it just being this big light blur. Or how can you hear multiple things at once and be able to push everything to the background and focus on one thing and shift around with it without it being this big sound wave just slamming up against your brain and driving you nuts? Well, it's something you obviously you start out slow learning and things like that. We don't even remember learning because we did that while we were infants and it's just too damn long ago. But it's just like learning to ride a bike or drive a car or anything else. You start out slow. You don't overkill it. You know, you don't you don't drive yourself nuts trying to learn it. And you take it step by step. And it's just like learning how to do anything. And that's how you'd learn how to do it. And discern between one thing and another. Just like going from crawling to walking to running or learning how to hear properly or learning how to see properly getting all your depth perception and things sorted out when you're an infant or you know or learning how to use a computer or learning anything i mean we are so impatient that we actually have to ask the irrelevant question of well how would we be able to discern all of this stuff wouldn't we go nuts well, if you're trying to learn it all at once, well, sure you would, but it's your own stupid fault if you're an impatient moron. So, yeah, just had that epiphany, thought I would share. Catch you later.